All right, we are here at my outdoor worm bin, and the last time we were in here, we were doing the rice experiment, and it was really hot in here on day five, and uh, I think 104 in the center and 78 at the sides. I came in here and I disturbed it, put some ice on it, and um, kind of dug in some of the rice a little bit. But then on day seven, when we took the video, we spread it all around, that kind of thing. And I am not finding any rice in here at all. So had I not set up a hot compost pile in the middle of my bin, I think that rice would have been gone in no time. Got a lot of great comments on how to avoid that. You know, put the food in one half. Obviously, don't put, you know, that much food and coffee and rice all at the same time um maybe put the rice on the top that kind of thing so a lot of uh, lessons learned for me um while i did that experiment so i don't think it was um i could really use the experiment to say hey is, is rice um will they eat the rice super fast or not because of the the um, heat that i caused i think i 80 percent caused the heat in there um but based on you know this the first update to now I would say they love rice because really it's been I think eight days since that feeding you add two because that's how many days I it took me to distribute before I found the heat and distribute the rice a little bit so really in 10 days they just demolished the rice another thing um, someone said and just look at all these worms I mean no worm balls but just oodles and oodles of worms in every handful here um, but another thing someone said is you need a lot more bedding and I would tend to agree this almost looks like finished castings in here and the worms to me also look a little bit smaller than some of the plump ones I had you know more towards the middle of the summer and the spring so either the fat ones got out or these guys just aren't I don't have a well-balanced diet of uh, bedding and food in here so with this feeding, we're gonna put a whole lot of bedding in here. So, and then here's some cherry seeds. So let's just go through here and look. Oh, here we go. Here's the one far gone mango seed and here's the kind of experimental, oh my gosh, look at that. Look at all those worms in there. Wow. I think this is about 61 days old. I could be wrong. And then over here, right deep in there I don't know if you can see there are just a ton of mites so mites all up in here worms here and they are eating the inner seed part really well so we'll see how long this whole thing takes to go obviously the middle part I think is going to go first and then the outer edges but this is a good little mango update here and here's the one before it's basically just the papers you know easily ripped that kind of thing so let's get in here and you know what i think the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to load this down with uh with paper with i'm not i'm sorry not paper cardboard shredding and then what i'll do is i'll mix all this cardboard shredding up in with the bedding that kind of thing that way it's not all just sitting up on here and then we will feed and i'm just going to feed in a half because I like the fact that if I accidentally overheat this side, then the worms have a greater a, a gradient to get away from the heat. This side will be very cool, and this side, if it's hot, um, they can move away from it. Now, they did that before because it was in the center and they were able to get to the sides. So that was another great comment that uh, was on that video. And then, actually, some people from, um, you know, some colder zones than mine mentioned that they might try and set up a hot compost in their worm bin during the winter just to try and keep it warm and again with a gradient the worms can get close or far away from it so I'm just gonna mix in this bedding here because this bin I try to use it as a continuous flow where I can always get castings out of it and I just kind of I don't think I was keeping up with the bedding as much as I should have been I thought I was but clearly um, as you can see just so much castings in here in fact I think I need to do even more bedding and then we'll set up the feeding zone and of course I've got a time-lapse of uh, worms at the end of this 
And if you enjoy this video or these videos, I've got uh, three playlists on my channel, one for each of my bins. So if you wanna subscribe, get uh, notifications by ringing the bell and certainly like, that helps me out. But that way you can follow each bin from start to finish casting. So, wow, it's amazing how little bedding looks like it's in there, but let's go ahead and start feeding. And I've got kind of a frozen chunk of food. This is a lot of food. Mango, carrot, apple, and <laughs> kind of a smorgasbord, banana peel. But I'm just gonna kind of put that, you know what? I'm gonna put some bedding there just to kind of absorb, but we'll do that. And then that's a lot of food. And then I'll put some coffee grounds and I can put those other places too. And then we'll do our grit. Oh my goodness. I'm out, <laughs> I'm out of practice or something. That was a lot of grit. That's enough grit for a couple feedings. But okay, so there we'll have our feeding zone right there on the side. And the worms will certainly have a gradient over here to escape to. And when I fold this over, I'll be able to um, make sure everything's covered. And then I think we will do our time lapse right here. But again, I just want to thank everybody for their comments. That was, you know, overwhelming support for, you know, me and <laughs> helping me learn. But here's the, the um, worms that we're gonna do the time-lapse for, and I think I'll do them right here in this spot. Here we go. All right, I think we may get onesie twosies that haven't fallen in. We'll just kind of cover them up and I'm gonna actually cover up with some more bedding here. Um, this is an outdoor bin that is exposed to elements. So they'll get some water to help with these castings and I'll check in on them every couple days just to make sure. But hope everybody enjoyed the video and I was having a great day. So happy vermicomposting everybody. Take care.